one wins, we all win. So, you know, this win is everyone's involved. Um, the hours we put in behind, behind the scenes, we do it together. And so when we have success, we enjoy it together too. I started having peanut butter and jelly and uh, when I got to college, you know, it was huge over there. It was the first time I had it and it just gave me a lot of energy and just it tastes really good. So it's added to my pregame routine and, you know, been sticking with it ever since. Cans are free flowing. Uh, they're up and down, similar to us in some aspects. Uh, pretty comfortable with their sets and uh, what they're trying to do offensively and defensively. But um, after playing against them last time, they've got two big wins against Brisbane and Perth. And, uh, watching the film just kind of uh, illustrates what, what they've tweaked because um, the league's so good now you can't do the same thing night in and night out and expect to win so you've got to tweak things on the fly and um, they did a really good job against Perth last game and Brisbane the game before and it's just watching those their little tendencies and the guys I'll be matching up against and their schemes just to give us a little edge out there on the court. When I'm watching it, it's, uh, it's also hearing it, you know, like a couple of times I'm in doing my yoga and all my poses and I can't see the screens, but hear the ball bouncing and hear the commentators, you can hear the whistle. I think all of that just does a really good job of just getting you into the, like the right frame of mind, ready to attack the game. It's my guy Elva, you know, we're college roommates at Barry, one of my best mates, and we traded jerseys senior year and just privileged to wear his Icelandic jersey. I, I wear it proudly and wear it often. I was pretty upset here. Uh, usually I get a, a shake or a smoothie, but they ran out that day, so I had to settle for orange juice. Emmett's my housemate, so, uh, you know, we generally walk to the game together. Um, banter along the way, kind of just lighten up the mood. Generally like to get there just over two hours before the game. Got a little routine that I like to follow, and I think that kind of helps set me up for the game. City jersey's awesome, you know, I love the red. It matches the shoes too, so you can't go wrong there. I'm not thinking too much about the opposition, it's just all about, I think, me and just I'm in a positive and happy state of mind here and just getting ready to execute my pregame routine, make sure my handle's tight, the ball's going through the rim the way I like it and I'm moving well. Yeah, this shot right here. No better feeling as a hooper, being on the court alone, um, soaking it all up, about to go to war in a couple of hours and just getting this moment of peace is, uh, is everything. JJ's been great, uh, worked with him a lot um, ever since he's been here and he's just trying to help us in any way we can and I think pre-game with, with him we do a lot of ball screen stuff, um, a lot of shots uh, off the dribble, catch and shoot, you know, a lot of fakes, floaters, just stuff that we're going to see in the game um, and, uh, and a lot of it you may not do in that one game but working on it now is going to help us for maybe five games from now. Yeah, this right here is just about reps, locking in, you know, making sure the form's the same. It's feeling good out of the hands. Um, that's really important, you know, just because you don't want to be thinking about that come game time. You want it just to be natural. This is one you got to lock into because this is, this is the blueprint of how we're going to win. You know, they say that most battles are won before they're even fought. What that means is, is we're planned, all right? We've had a good plan with this. Now you just gotta go out and we just execute it, all right? Play with freedom, play with confidence, but we're gonna sprint to beat, all right? You gotta sprint the floor. We gotta bring the enthusiasm. We've gotta bring this, fellas. 
pace of the game. We dictate that tonight. In the pre-game talk, you're thinking all about Cairns. But right now, it's all about us. You know, you see the tight huddle all locked in. I think you want to get your arousal levels up here because it's about 15 minutes before tip-off and, you know, you want to be getting to that point where you're about to peak because once that ball goes up, you're ready to go. Before I went to college, I wore the number three. Um, but then last year, playing with Perth, uh, Nick Kay was number three. And then in college, I wore 24 at Metro and 25 at Barry, and they were both taken. And it's kind of just sitting in the office when we're picking the numbers. And um, Matt Nielsen is one of my mentors. Uh, wore the number 44 when he played. Um, and yeah, just discussing it, you know, just thought it would be pretty cool to wear his number, rep him a little bit. And, you know, I think, yeah, since putting it on, I've, I've owned it and I loved it. Quat and I, Majuk, Dang, we're all South Sudanese, so we all kind of got that connection already and just dapper quite here, just we know each other, about to go to war, so last, last bit of friendship out the way there. Melo's just ability to find people off the dribble is just unbelievable and he's come a long way since the start. Really grown both offensively and defensively. Um, as you can see here in this set, he's calling Horn's twist and that was one of our plays to get DA going early. Um, there's a microwave once he sees that ball going through the ring. I think yeah, he's definitely come a long way and obviously still got a long way to go. Still 18, hasn't barely tapped into his potential. Just making him work for everything. Uh, he's an exceptional point guard, great vision, poise, always under control. Um, you know, my job is just to disrupt him, speed him up when I can and uh, block his vision. You know, I've got, got a bit of size and length on him, so kind of disrupt him that way. But even then, it's not even about stopping him, it's about slowing him down. Got to try and make him work for 40. Ooh, almost wanted to cuss out my big, you know. Um, I think there was a timeout right after this, and I was like, yo, why aren't you calling the screen? And you know, he's always all the way down the other end. The other you know, Hawks fans are just going crazy, so it's pretty loud in there. Um, I let him off, but yeah, it does, it does hurt to get hit by Big Nate. We saw a switch and uh, mismatch I wanted to utilize. Um, you know, we play one-on-ones all the time and it's just a move I like to do and I saw the mismatch, there was a bit of space, so just attacked him. Fab's first time subbing into the game. Um, I'd, uh, I'd Machado, you know, he's a good three-point shooter, so I don't want to over help there into the paint, but thought I'd check late rather than early and give Scotty a wide open three. Um, you know, it's unfortunate to get the foul here. I thought I poked at it and got, got the ball, but Sometimes the whistle doesn't go your way, you just gotta keep playing. Halftime through the game, you've expended a lot of energy in the first half and in the second half, you gotta be ready to go again to back it up. So generally have a piece of fruit. Um, banana's good, good fuel burner right there. Um, usually that, a bit of Powerade and some water. Just talking about their ball screens, um, how you know Scotty and Newbill will get downhill on us. Um, Getting confidence from the low help or the sec two passes away really enables the guy on the ball to get up and in on his hip, be able to get over that screen more effectively, uh, stopping rotations. It all starts again, you know, just like he did pregame. Got that learn, now you gotta bring the energy levels back up. Oh, that's just good defense, you know. Uh, I was trying to initiate our offense. Um, it wouldn't let me get to my spot and, you know, just uh, saw that I was gonna extend my arm. Uh, exaggerated the contact a little bit and just got the call his way. Um, looking back on it, yeah, I probably did extend, but he's strong. So I thought we'd be able to handle the contact. You know, I thought we guarded him and Newbill quite well, first three quarters. Um, and then in the fourth, they made adjustments, like all 
all good teams do and you know they uh saw saw a play they wanted to attack and they were able to execute down the stretch and got them back into the game and got them the lead momentarily but you know that's what great players do they make plays to help their team get in the position to win We're able to get a big time stop with about 10 seconds left on the clock. Um, AJ gave me the deep outlet. Thought about the quick two, but then to, to the back of me, I heard Mello yell out. So with Scotty in front of me, I just took my stride stop, pivoted and you know, threw it back to Mello and the rest is history. OT, um, you know, I think we we got some momentum off that shot. Um, we kind of wanted to be the aggressor, and uh, Mello was saying, you know, the first team to score generally wins, so we wanted to put our foot down and get a few quick buckets and seal the game. Man, I don't know how they left Timmy that open. That play was huge. You know, I think we're up two there. Mello hezies, goes baseline, dunks. Deflated. It's much like the first play of the game where he finds DA open at the top. Um, you know, just his ability to find people, just drives to the key. He's uh, scored twice now, twice in a row um, on that same play and just he was able to kick it out and I think we're up five at this point. 40 seconds left and he's able to find me. It's a shot we've worked on plenty of times. And, I was able just to knock it down and just put the game out of reach. Atmosphere was unreal. You know, I think everyone wants to go and watch a close basketball game, and especially when your team gets up, it's awesome. But I think it was huge for us to get a home win. You know, we um, last home game we lost to Perth, so it was good to come back to winning ways. Brotherhood in this team is unreal. Um, you know, we're all really good friends on and off the court, and just just seeing your teammate have success is it's everything. You know, it's, um, especially in a team sport like basketball, where one wins, we all win. So, you know, this win is everyone's involved. Um, the hours we put in behind behind the scenes, we do it together, and so when we have success, we enjoy it together too. Three and eight, you know, is a huge win. Um, Go back and watch the film and just see the areas we can improve and you know focus all attention goes to New Zealand now and preparing for that game um, another huge opportunity you know I think if we can get that one then really start the ball rolling <laughs>